Hello guys and welcome to episode 6 of my Empire Total War campaign, playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. And today it's time to take on the French, but before we do that I think we need to jump over to the Americas and take for ourselves Santo Domingo. Get ourselves some more sugar from this plantation. Let's go ahead and attack Santo Domingo. Very tempted to auto resolve, but I don't think I want to lose too many soldiers unnecessarily, so I think I might actually play this out at the beginning of the episode. I feel like if I auto resolved it, then we would likely lose more men in the line infantry, and that would cost me more to uh, basically fix up. Okay, so we don't have many troops to actually move about, so we'll just keep our men ready to go. Might have these guys over on the right side, like so. And I'll have my regiment of militia sort of take the brunt of the fire. The halt button in the bottom right of the screen cancels orders and makes selected units stop where they are. This is a quicker alternative to giving them a different order. Let's get these guys running. Not sure why they weren't running. Well, off we go. I really like this sort of theatre of war very different to like the other games I've been playing lately. Like something like Warhammer and so on. But coming back to this sort of era is very very cool indeed. More far away men. Just about in range there, I think. Just good. Okay, we've taken some damage on that regiment. Are they going to fire? I don't know what the hell they're doing. Let's just line up like so. It might be a good idea to just rush into melee. Because we don't really have... ...the... ...like the space to like line up our troops fully. Which is kind of awkward. Especially when only the front line's firing. Like we may as well take advantage of our numbers. We'll have that volley and then we'll charge in. Right, let's just hit them from all directions and hopefully that will do the job. Okay, we've made those guys round. It's good. Okay. That's just a matter of beating these guys to death. Enemy general killed. That'll be victory, I think. They're broken. Good. Probably should have just done that to begin with. Just ran into melee. Never mind. Speed it up. And the battle for a heroic victory. Okay, when it's a heroic victory, it generally means that you've done a lot better than the auto resolve would have done. So, I'm pretty happy with that. 
just repair that. And I might also just fix up these dudes while I'm there. And we'll get them ready to sail off once again. And uh, what I do need to do is uh, split up this army a little bit. So, or well, this navy. I want to make sure that I have the agents on this one. There we go. So he can zoom off towards Europe. When moving into the transition zone between map theatres, this travel destination window will appear. Select the campaign theater you wish to travel to in order to move there. You'll always be presented with the shortest route to your destination. Moving between theaters takes one turn per theater. Okay, so what we're going to do next turn is let our army, well, replenish this turn and then we'll go onto the navy again and we'll head towards La Habana and maybe take that off them as well. But this is good. Um, we've taken Santo Domingo which will give us a little bit more money in the Americas and we'll try and secure uh, more of these islands if we can. Might also be worth going and taking Antigua and uh, Martinique or Martinique off the French. Also go down to Trinidad and Tobago and take that. All these, all this good stuff. Actually saying that I do need to like exempt from tax don't I so we need to do that for now. At least we're getting like wealth from from trade, I guess. Not so happy about the nobility there, though. Have a look. We've got a uh, minus six in Hispaniola. That's on the, the nobility, isn't it? If we go over to Europe, I think we're good for now. We've managed to source it out in Prussia. Do I have the cash to fix this up? I do. Okay, I'm going to do that. Because then we can start to look at building more troops in Königsberg. For when I want to move out. Pretty sure that's everything else done for this turn. Let's just check. So we've got that army in Königsberg that we're not doing anything with. Um, at Falmouth, actually, uh, we can continue... Um, which could be a good idea to take out more French men. We could maybe go towards like Quebec and take that. That would be a good idea. And let's just move yes, my Lord. into the face of these chaps. And we'll slowly but surely head towards Quebec because taking that would be very nice. It's a full settlement, so... It would give us quite a lot of income. Then we can take Montreal and we can take uh, Fort Nashwag. Just push the French out of the Americas entirely. We have the superior fleet, so we should be able to do that. Right, if we head back into the lists, we'll have Charles Mohan join o Isaac Newton over in Europe soon enough. I'm going to get my Protestant missionary to come over to Boston, Falmouth. We'll slowly but surely make his way over here. As for our fleets, we have a naval battle on our hands. Which is why I didn't forget to do this. It might be worth uh, dropping off the troops first. Um, so I'm tempted to do that. And then we'll come back and attack the Prussian Navy. Just so that if I lose any ships, we don't lose the, like, transporting men. We don't want to lose our army unnecessarily, so I decided to unload them first. And I think that's the best way to do this. And we're going to attack. They've only got sloops and brigs, whereas we have fifth rates and sixth rates, which have way more guns than they do. So let's go ahead and attack this. They also, also we're being reinforced by the United Provinces, so this is going to be Prussia's navy absolutely destroyed. Also, it's the first chance I've got to show you a naval battle, which is absolutely awesome. Oh, and the wind's in our favor. How fantastic. All right, so let's uh, line up. We'll go for the line formation. And uh, we'll just sort of sail past them, 
firing all our guns and then we'll maybe cut into them if I can and get shots through there. Bow. Yeah, so we'll just come downwind with them, like so. And then what I might try and do is cut into their formation so I'll get all of my ships to sort of go in between their ships. And then we'll get broadsides on both sides. That would be very, very good indeed. Alright, here we go. Fortunately, our ships are just like 10 times stronger than theirs. Look at these beauties. We're all Britannia, that's for sure. Alright, let's just speed it up. Because it will take us our sweet time. We can put them all on to like full sail, I think. But I'm not sure it's necessarily the best idea. Yeah, we can do it. Sure, why not? It will take some of them a little while to start doing so. Right, they're going to be cutting across us. Do I continue straight? I feel like I want to just cut through the middle of them if I can. We might turn into them in just a little bit. Like so. Right, these guys need to slow down because... Oh, other ships are taking their sweet time. Right, so yeah, we're taking shots in the front, which is fine. Um, we just want to avoid shots into the side. I'm going to get a really good... Just go full sail, actually, and we'll come through the middle of two of their ships. We'll get really, really good shots from this. If I do it properly. I don't want to fire at this ship, so I'm going to set this guy to broadside. I'm just going to broadside into the rear of these ships. <laughs> Absolutely rake them from after bow. Here we go. Let's get the sails down. Oh, my right side is firing away. Oops. That one. We'll just let them fire. It's fine. But what I ideally want to do is get the broadside in there. Not sure if that was the best idea actually. Yeah, it seemed pretty naff. I want to carry on with the wind, so. I think I'm just going to let them fire as is. So my first ship's going to get annihilated as this one comes into range. Done a lot of nice damage here. Gonna get this one to go full sail and go through the mid. Meanwhile, these ones can all come down this side. So we have all our large ships basically cut through. And then all of our smaller ships, our sixth rates, can continue the volleys from the other side. Although this one's kind of in a bit of trouble, being shot in the rear. Yeah. We might have to cut back through, honestly. Might be the best way to do it. Oh, that volley into the back of that ship there. Not good. For them, that is. <laughs> that sloop taking a ton of damage. Swing down around the guns here. Another volley into that ship. I suppose it hasn't blown up yet. Oh, has this ship's mast been taken out? I think possibly they have been. Oh, that ship is just done. So done. Just took a complete broadside into the ass. Double broadside. Perfect. Right. 
we can, we'll cut through this formation. Same with this one, we'll swing back over. And one of the sloops is gone. Right, let's just swing that one to the side and we'll get the shots into that sloop. Nice. Swing back round. Time to swing that, so we've got the shots onto this one. Oh, that brig is getting wrecked. These smaller ships really haven't done too much. But this has gone pretty well, actually. Continue to swing round here, we'll get the shots into the back of that brig. And then we can follow the wind forwards again. Or this sloop. Let's fire into the rear. Really, really good there. Let's just swing round. Maybe we can get some shots onto this brig. Although I think it's kind of suffering at the moment. We could probably swing all of these actually and just do one big volley. Got another full volley into the back of that sloop. Also, we do see that uh, the United Provinces trade ships have arrived. Oh, look at these ships. They look awesome. into the back of that sloop. Surely that's done the job there. Yeah, that's sunk that sloop straight up. Oh my. Going down. Let me get the other volley off on the other side. Oh, another straight into the back of that ship. Love it. We've pretty much sunk all of their ships, right? Yeah. I kind of want to run them down, if I can, and sink them all, because I don't want the Prussians to have a navy. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> well, <laughs> there goes that ship. Wow. Insane. Right, now we just need to get all of our ships to chase this ship away. Full mass. Let's go, boys. Bring down the top sails. <laughs> Look at this chase. This brig is actually going to catch up to this sloop, I think. What an awesome, awesome battle that was. Look at this, like, entire navy here just chasing down this one poor sloop. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to catch it. Sloops are pretty damn fast. I'm thinking maybe this brig can, but I'm not sure.
Yeah, I think he's out. We'll quit the battle for a heroic victory. That's what we like to see. Good old British naval tactics. It kind of worked to begin with with the 5th rates, but then the other 6th rates and sloops couldn't really get there in time to follow through with the tactic, so it got a bit messy, but oh well. They lost uh, 5 of that out of their 6 ships, and uh, it's a shame we didn't get any prize money, but that gets rid of the Prussian Navy for now. Great. Now we just need to fix them up, and uh, yeah, we can sort things out. We now also have John Churchill back in England, so we can assign him some forces. Uh, I might just get these guys all out of here and sort out the force this turn. So I can swatch all of these militia for line infantry. Let's do that for now. Is that too many? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. So we can go... Like so. Then we want the cannons in there. And we can get maybe more cav. Let's go one cav and one militia regiment. Right, John Churchill's army is actually legit right now. And Joshua Rackham can go back to London. Okay. So we have our invasion force ready. With John Churchill, we've got two sets of demi cannons just in case Paris has fortifications, and we can uh, go ahead and take that off them. So, what I'll be looking to do. Meanwhile, we'll have Edward Russell with his navy take on the French navy, and the French navy is pretty weak again, more sloops and brigs, as opposed to my fifth rates and sixth rates. Nice. So that's it. That's everything done as far as I'm aware. Let's move on to the next turn. This game is just like so cool though. Really, really been enjoying this campaign so far. It's just so different to everything I've been playing lately. And what's likely to happen in the end turn is we're going to get attacked by Kurland again because they're going to come at me with that new army they have. The Ottomans pumping out those ships, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll try and take Paris. I mean... The French declared war on us when we took Brussels, so I think it's it's probably just important to invade them and take Paris from them. We're under siege now, by the looks of things. They didn't actually assault us. Oh, great. Pirate vessel, out of nowhere. It's a galleon, the damnation. Gonna be attacking our sloop, which has our gentlemen aboard. Withdraw! Withdraw! Enemy fleet ahead! Oh dear. Rip. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to win this. It's a battle that I'm gonna have to play out, I think. So this is just one versus one. Can we make our sloop do the job? Best thing I can do is just sort of take the initial brunt of the fire and then just try and stick on his rear. That's all I can do. The wind's against us, which is kind of annoying. But maybe that means that I can cut into his rear. Probably want to come in on the right side of him, if I can. Or the left side of him. Or his right. Got that pirate vessel. Here 
And we don't have as much firepower, but I think we maybe have more whole strength than they do. So we can take more of a beating, but I'm going to have to be very careful with this battle, for sure. We're going straight against the wind right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to continue doing that. I might just take a, a volley early on, like fire towards them pretty early. Maybe knock out some of their troop if, troops if we're lucky. Alright, we'll switch back round to the other side. Get another volley off. Okay. Well, we're gonna face them whilst they fire at us. Oh, they're going for our... That's not good. I should probably do that, actually. definitely try and take down those sails because then we can just sit on their rear and fire into them. That's actually a really good idea. If we get disabled that's going to suck. Oh, I think we like, dodged that. Good. Our master's gone. Shit. Oh, we're a sitting duck now. This just sucks. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I just can't do anything here. We've lost two of our guns. I'm pretty much just disabled at this point. I just have to hope that our shots do the job. And they're going to come in for a boarding action, maybe. Uh, this is pretty devastating. control of them. We've surrendered. Eesh. That sucks. Close defeat, apparently. Oh, dear. Oh, we didn't actually lose the ship. So that's good. The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are unhappy with the current government. Failure to comply Okay, so we've got uh, the Hispaniola nobility getting annoyed. Military technology plug bay in it is ours though, which is fantastic. City besieged Königsberg and letter of demands from Hispaniola. Election results. It's fine. Okay. So we kind of need to deal with these pirates at some point. We're going to just have to have our navy go back to port yes, over sir. here. Not getting Any away orders? from those pirates anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's have our army jump aboard. Oh, they haven't actually replenished. Wait, why did they not replenish? That's odd. It might be worth getting a general for this uh, little colonial army that we have. I guess we have one up here. Let's uh, go ahead and take out those French. Native warrior auxiliary and Claude uh, de Bouy. Alright, let's... Uh, 
fight this in the next episode. Because <laughs> unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So yeah, what we'll be doing, carrying on, is taking on the French in their colonies even more. We'll move towards Quebec, slowly but surely, and try and take that from them. Got to be careful not to lose Boston, though. And there are, like, sort of armies popping up all over the place all the time. Might even have to split up my own army, maybe leave some units in reserve. But either way, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.